government of india passed uh, biological diversity act in 2002 and the assam state biodiversity board became functional in 2010 uh, primarily we have to do empowerment of local people and we have to give them ownership of their natural resources so that they can use it sustainably benefit from it and whenever there is a commercial use of these natural resources they should get the benefit this was the main idea behind the act so empowering local people was by way of forming biodiversity management committees which were formed in each anchalik panchayat in the state of assam and then the important task was to uh, motivate these committees to make their biological diversity registers now unless you have the inventory of what you have and how you use them it is very difficult to get the complete ownership so uh, we had some grant from national biodiversity authority for doing the registers in the anchalik panchayat level we gave the money also and we did some uh, capacity building uh, awareness generation at our level uh, with the bmcs but it did not give us uh, more uh, expected results so we were wondering how can we go about doing this uh, biodiversity registers and then this idea came to us that uh, why can't we engage some young graduates and post graduates who have some time uh, between their two academic sessions to work with us and to go to the places somewhere close to their home place hometown where they live and help the bmcs do their biodiversity registration during some of our biodiversity management committee awareness workshops we often get requests from the bmc members that they needed some kind of assistance in preparing their people's biodiversity registers therefore with a view to meet this the biodiversity board in 2014 started a program called the biodiversity research associate program for the postgraduate students this idea came to us about 3 years back and we converted it into a kind of a fellowship initially and then an internship program this course is for a duration of 3 months and the intake capacity of each course is 20 seats The selected fellows were given a monthly stipend of rupees 5000 to 8000 depending on their experiences and a minimum contingency of rupees 10000 per month to meet their traveling allowances. Now we bring these students here in the board office give them some technical input. We also specifically train them on participatory planning methods which they apply in the field they go and talk to people and make the drafts of registers. once the draft of pbr is ready the next important task is to have it approved by the technical support group now if you look at the composition of technical support group it is headed by the deputy commissioner the member secretary is the dfo of the concerned division and then there are members from the line departments agriculture horticulture education fisheries what we decided was that once the draft is ready we will take the time from the deputy commissioner for holding a tsg meeting everyone is called there including the members of the bmc some of the knowledgeable persons the intern or the brief fellow who has actually done the draft in the field he is also there that once the discussions start on how it was prepared and what it contains lot of interest gets generated and the department people are surprised that so much of information has already been put then they also tell at the same time that so much of information can also be included so these we keep recording and the best part of the uh, such kind of a meeting of tsg is that the people who were contacted by the interns or the by the brief fellows they come and they testify yes that we were there we were part of the discussion and they are also happy that their names and photographs and addresses are contained in the Uh, register and at the end whatever suggestions have been brought out they are put in a form of a minute simultaneously and subject to those conditions being fulfilled the draft is approved so it takes one day time to take the draft discuss in the tsg and have it approved we have already got 25 approvals of the tsg so far this experiment has been very successful and i am very happy that Uh, about 60 60 plus registers have been prepared through students and they are very high quality the best part of this course is that uh, we get to know a very variable knowledge regarding our natural resources and regarding the biodiversity around us and also the interaction of the local people with the biodiversity the thing which attracted me the most is that it gives me an opportunity to work with the 
place of my choice. I would like to thank the Assam State Biodiversity Board for taking up this great initiative. And I would say that whoever got selected in this program is very much fortunate. It's a tremendous learning, both the, the classroom session as well as the, the practical. And one good thing I like about the class and about the resource person is that they are pretty much warm welcoming in terms of imparting us knowledge. In the theory part, it was like they're meeting with some renowned experts in various fields of wildlife conservation, such as uh, wildlife uh, genetics, then wildlife ecologists, then fisheries, and then also community management people. Uh, we had programs on GIS, there's how to make maps using GIS techniques and remote sensing, and all those, those some very interesting and some very knowledgeable sessions we had during those uh, internship program. We went to a couple of field visits to different places. Uh, we went to Nameri National Park. Uh, we went to uh, Biswanath Ghat where we see and experience how organic farming is done. We went to Hula Gibbon Wildlife Sanctuary where we saw a lot of gibbons and the richness of each biodiversity. We went to Lakua Buracha. We were taught uh, a basic lesson on camera trapping on the spot, and that was remarkable. Overall, it's a, a massive learning during our field trip. At the same time, we have lots of fun. So far, we have completed one intensive course, and now we are running the second batch of the intensive program. Different districts of 16 to interns of a lot of people. Different BMC under village panchayat under group like village people's like a lot of but in biodiversity conservation of what report at a one of a lot of people. So I mean, then again, people's biodiversity resistant to prepare for so I'm a different classes. They are still at Jotama GIS program of the class of biostats. Sequa was still at some people have manual or peer exercise course. There's an amicing. We have a lot of interest in this natural resource to keep important and that is which is locally available. Our Kameta is actually PPR which is People's Biodiversity Register. I mean, we have a lot of biodiversity documentation. So, we have a lot of experience in the MSC level 1. So, we have a lot of visit. So, we have a new experience. So, we have a lot of experience. Experience along with field work, बहुत किन्हीं माने gather कोई भी परिसो, जिकिन्हीं normal lab work बा normal studies और लगात माने ही किन्हीं ना होए। अरु आमर काम तो असली, अमी actually traditional knowledge gather कोई भी लगे, जिन्हें तो extremely helpful है। I have made one small video documentation on traditional healer. I got to know how plant gives life to people and how important it is to conserve. Within this short period of time, I've learned a lot especially the importance of biodiversity in our life and also connecting to the community people about biodiversity. It's a great learning for me to have an interaction with the community. All this great learning within my short period of internship with ASPB would really help me in the future. When we finally submitted the draft, actually we had a sense of achievements. Like when we transmitted the traditional knowledge of the local people uh, to some government body, it always feels good. It always makes us feel proud. Apart from doing the important work of uh, people's biodiversity register preparation, uh, the other important thing is you get a lot of young people to work for you and a lot of energy in your department, a lot of new ideas they have that they share with us. So this brings a lot of energy into the department basically. And you also get to know what is the perception of people about the functioning of the board, where you can improve. So it's a very good a give and take kind of a mechanism that is uh, put in place while doing the PBR through students. It's a very win-win kind of a situation. Stud students get something very rewarding in terms of uh, experience and also a bit of fellowship to work with the board and board gets them as a human resource to do the, uh, the people biodiversity registration preparation works. And I think this is one thing that can be replicated in similarly situated states and we are doing it more programs in the state of the sun.